So it is time for all who would be Christians. If you've been sinning, it's time to repent now. Become clean. Get rid of all sin. Let it not be a part of you, man. And you got to do it quick because the time is short. In Psalm 38, it says, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Uh, they're repenting, but they need mercy. They're asking for God's mercy. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. This is time to repent, man. Clean it out of you. Always. Go right down to the very bottom of it. And suffer for it. Mine, for mine iniquities are gone over mine head as a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. You got to be right with God. And you present yourself to Him in your sin and ask Him to clean it out. Verse 5 of 38. For my wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. When you sin, you see, you have a, there's a price for it. Even your, even your health goes. You have wounds and they stink. All these diseases and garbage. Because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. Yeah, it's time. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. This is what real repentance brings, man. It's not a, it's not a quick prayer and you're okay, you know. If you have sinned, you got to go way down, man, and suffer for your sin in order to clean it out. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desires before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, and my strength faileth me, as for the light of my night is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, yeah. and my kinsmen stand afar off. Yeah, you're alone there in your sin before God. That's what he wants. They also that seek after my life lay snares and this persecution on top of it, man. That's why you got to repent real fast. This is the time when a lot of people are going to repent. It says because during that tribulation, they wash their robes and make them white in the blood of the Lamb. They were sinning up till then. Then they realized that it got serious and God is the one they need to fear, not man. And this is repentance process. They that seek after my life lay snares. They that seek my hurt speak mischievous things. And imagine deceits all the day long. The copy, you know. And the conscience of your own sin. And your own guilt. Gets to you. And you don't have any more reproofs. All you can do is repent, you know. Like in verse 13. But as a deaf man. I heard not, and as, and he didn't answer, he didn't answer them, because he know he deserved the suffering he's going through. And I, and I was as a dumb man that opened not his mouth. And I, thus I was a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. You know, normally, when you have all these people speaking mischievous things, you're going to open your mouth and defend your faith. But at this time, couldn't even, nothing could even come out. For in thee, O Lord, Jehovah, do I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Jehovah, my God. For I said, hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. Yeah, they're ready to jump as soon as he, as soon as he slips a little bit. 
for I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will be sorry for my sin. This is the prayer. See, it's not, it's, 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 if you've been sinning, your, your sin is a deep sin. And you're going to have to suffer for it. And when they come with all the persecution, you better start repenting if you haven't. You better start now. But um, those are, there's going to be those that are wait, and then they're going to try to be on God's side, and they're going to have to repent, man. It's a serious thing. All this garbage with the gay and all this crap. It's serious, scariest shit. Excuse my language, but there's there's something you got to describe it as, to make it as vile as it is. It is so wicked and disgusting and vile. What Satan is now doing in this world, and it's going to get worse. Yeah, but my enemies are lively and they are strong. You see. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They come out. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. So that's the prayer. All, all, we all need to pray. But especially if you're, if you're, uh, uh, haven't repented of your sins, you need to do that now, before the hard times come, so you can stand in that day. Remember, Jesus Christ said, pray that you are worthy to escape all these things that are destined to occur, and to stand before the Son of Man. In order to stand, you need to be clean from your sin. Repent of your iniquity. And to keep your eyes single. Without any sin. Single in God's word. In God's way. In his commandments. And not to sin in any of those things. Clean yourself up. Because the time is coming. The time is at hand.